read relay is a highly reliable component which is often the most suitable choice to switch signals in an application. A key component within a read relay is the read switch. For example, a four-way switch has two contact blades suspended in a sealed glass tube. The switch blade contact surfaces are coated in a suitable material to provide long switching life up to the maximum ratings of the relay specification. Being sealed in an inert gas or vacuum within the glass reed ensure that there is no oxidisation of the contact surfaces that will affect the low level performance, unlike an electromechanical relay where the contacts are open to the atmosphere and the resulting oxidisation can significantly affect the path resistance at low signal levels. When hot switching, the load is present on one side of the open contact and when the switch closes it creates the path for the signal to flow through. At low signal levels, the contact surface wear can be insignificant and more than 10 billion operations can be expected with little change in contact resistance. As the signal voltage and current levels increase, the overall power switched increases. The associated arcing can begin to melt small areas of the contact surface plating. As the signal voltage and current levels approach the maximum ratings for the device, more surface damage can begin to occur. With continuous operations, this damage increases the irregularities in the contact surface, sometimes increasing the contact resistance, but depending on the load, it still may take tens of millions of operations before this impacts the relay performance in the application. When the product of the voltage and the current being switched exceeds the maximum ratings for the device, this can result in enough plating material being melted on operation to cause the contacts to weld and not open when the relay is turned off. A way to greatly reduce the damaging effects of hot switching and greatly increase the expected number of operations is to cold switch the signal. When cold switching, there is no signal present across the open contact when the switch operates. Once the switch has closed and settled, the signal is applied through the closed switch path. This removes the arcing effect high power loads can produce and the associated damage this can cause to contact surface plating. With this type of operation, the life expectancy can be similar to low level switching in excess of 10 billion operations. The only relevant specification is the continuous carry current, which is usually two to three times higher than the switched current rating. The limiting factor is the power generated across the contact and the heat it generates. Excessive heating can cause damage to the contact plating or even cause the switch blades to reach the curie point of the nickel iron. At this temperature they will lose their magnetic properties and the contact will open. As they cool the magnetic properties will return and they will hot switch the high current causing excessive damage. In many applications a high carry current may only be required for a very short time. The off time allows the contact to cool between the on time. The longer the off time is, the higher value the current pulse can be that is passed through it. Care must be taken for the on time not to exceed the time it would take the contact to heat up to excessive levels. An on pulse of 10 milliseconds and an off time of 100 milliseconds would result in a 10% duty cycle. Current levels five times the continuous carry current specification can then be achieved with virtually no wear on the contact surfaces. Another important consideration in both hot and cold switching is the presence of capacitance across the contact. This could be decoupling capacitors or even long cable lengths. When charging and discharging this capacitance, the current may only be limited by the resistance of the reed switch and the PCB tracks. Even capacitors charged to quite low voltages can cause inrushes of tens of amps. The level of capacitance determining the amount of switch energy and although they may only be for microseconds, they can still cause damage with melting of the contact material. With higher voltages, this becomes even more important as even relatively low capacitance values can cause high levels of switched inrush energy. Capacitive inrush is the most common reason for early relay failures in what would be considered low level or cold switching applications. When there is enough energy to melt significant contact material, it can cause a weld between the contacts. These can be micro welds, relatively small areas of melted material, and the contacts can easily be freed with a gentle tap. Thank you for watching. 
To learn more about hot and cold switching or to access other Read Relay educational guides, please visit pickeringrelay.com.